Part 4. Questions 71 through 73 refer to the following radio advertisement. This weekend is the opening of a two week video exhibit entitled From Barcelona to San Paolo. For the next month, the Museum of Techno Art in New York will be featuring contemporary films such as a short computer animation and a full length documentary about working women in Madrid. Join other viewers at the museum on Friday for the opening of the exhibit. You don't have to speak Spanish to enjoy these video pieces, as soundtracks are available in other languages. Don't put off your visit. The show moves on to Detroit at the end of the month. Number 71. What is being advertised? Number 72. What is the characteristic of this event? Number 73. Where is the exhibit going to be held for the next month? Questions 74 through 76 refer to the following introduction. Welcome, everybody. My name is Jake Sanders, and I'll be your tour guide for today. As we go on our tour, Please remember not to touch any animal or cage unless I say that it is okay to do so. Also, it is important that everybody stays together because we do not want anybody to get lost during the tour. Parents, please be sure to keep an eye on your children at all times. You guys are welcome to ask any questions that you have along the way. With that said, I'm excited to show you all the different species of animals that we have. I am sure you will all have a great time. Number 74. Who is the speaker? Number 75. Where does the introduction most likely take place? Number 76. What are parents instructed to do? Questions 77 through 79 refer to the following instruction. Okay, campers, let's go over the safety precautions we'll take today before we go on our trip down the river. Always wear your life preserver whenever you're in your canoe. Don't stand up in your canoe because it can capsize quite easily. If you do tip over, do not leave your boat. Don't let it float away and don't swim to the shore. Now, as soon as you put on your life jackets and get into your canoes, I'll show you the different ways to maneuver your boat and, of course, how to hold your paddles. Number 77. What is the instructor's main topic? Number 78. What will the instructor do when the campers are in their canoes? Number 79. What suggestion did the instructor make? Questions 80 through 82 refer to the following advertisement. Maybe it's time for a new gentle night mattress. Research shows you'll sleep 20% more deeply on a supported mattress. But with over 40 brands to choose from, how can you decide? Well, gentle night is designed by orthopedic surgeons. But don't take our word for it, test one out for yourself. We are so sure you will love it that we will let you try it for a week. And if you're not satisfied, we will give you a full refund. Visit your Gentle Knight dealer today to check out our selection. It is offered until May 1st only. Number 80. What kind of product is this advertisement for?
Number 81. What is outstanding about the product? Number 82. How long will the offer last? Questions 83 through 85 refer to the following radio broadcast. This is Dr. Julie Shedid with today's Medical Minute. Winter's almost here and it's time to protect yourself against the flu. How can you reduce your chances of getting the flu? Keep your hands away from your nose, eyes and mouth in order to prevent the spread of germs. Wash your hands frequently and don't forget to cover your mouth when you sneeze or cough. Also, remember to eat a nutritious, well-balanced diet in order to build up your body's immune system. Stay tuned because after this commercial break, I'll give you some exercise tips for the coming month. Number 83. What is the speaker's occupation? Number 84. What are listeners likely to hear after the commercial? Number 85. What is the main topic of this broadcast? Questions 86 through 88 refer to the following radio broadcast. Good afternoon and welcome to Live Show with your host, Pat Nathan. My guest today is Jess Tomlin, the syndicated columnist, whose feature, Business Matters, is published in over 100 papers nationwide. This afternoon, Ms. Tomlin will answer your questions about finance and business. Later in the show, we'll hear about a 10-year-old girl who started her own bicycle courier service. And we'll check with our film critic about the current cinema. But first, today's headlines. Number 86. What is Pat doing? Number 87. What's Miss Tomlin's job? Number 88. What is mentioned about Miss Tomlin? Questions 89 through 91 refer to the following notice. All Kenox employees are invited to enter our slogan contest, and the new slogan and the winner will be announced at the company picnic. The winner will receive a trip for two to Hawaii with all expenses paid. To enter, write your name, address and telephone number on an index card. On the reverse side of the card, write your idea for a new company slogan. Remember that the new slogan will be chosen from those submitted by employees. No advertising agencies will be employed. So start your creative engines. You may enter up to five slogans. Number 89. To whom is the notice addressed? Number 90. What prize is offered? Number 91. What must people do to enter the contest? Questions 92 through 94 refer to the following announcement. Attention everybody, we will be closing down the pool due to heavy rain this afternoon. For the safety of everyone here, please exit the pool immediately. If you wish to continue swimming, there is an indoor swimming pool on the corner of Carson and Stark Street. There is also a recreation centre next to the swimming pool where you can play sports and exercise. As soon as everybody leaves, this pool will be left unsupervised, so please refrain from using the pool. We will be open again tomorrow at 9 a.m. Thank you for your cooperation. 
Number 92. What is the reason for the announcement? Number 93. According to the speaker, what can the listeners do to continue swimming? Number 94. When will the pool open again? Questions 95 through 97 refer to the following talk. Be all that you wish to be. Join the servants. Sign up at your local library all this week. The community needs you. If you're retired and have the time, please come on down and check out how you can help. If you work but have even just a few hours free for us a week, we need you. Students, spend your summer helping out those in need. It only takes a day a week. The Servants helps out those in need at such local services as the food bank, the women's shelter, teen crisis line, or retirees taxi service. Come on! You'll see what we know already. Volunteering is fun and it makes you feel great. Number 95. Where can the listeners sign up to be a volunteer? Number 96. What kind of people are the servants looking for? Number 97. If a 17 year old boy needs advice, how can he get some? Questions 98 through 100 refer to the following announcement. Attention, passengers on Northeast Airways Flight 888 to Philadelphia. The plane's departure from Los Angeles has been delayed two hours due to heavy fog. The plane is not expected to arrive here in Chicago until 4 45 p.m. Passengers who are worried about missing overseas connections in Philadelphia should contact a Northeast Airways representative for more information. Once again, Northeast Airways Flight 888, bound for Philadelphia, has been delayed. It is now scheduled to depart Chicago at 5 30 p.m. Number 98. Where was this announcement made? Number 99. What time will Flight 888 depart? Number 100. Where will Flight 888 be arriving from? TOEIC 마귀 뚫기, TOEIC 필수 단어, TOEIC 파트별 요령, 문법 기초 강의, 각 파트 실전 문제는 제 다른 영상들을 참고하세요. 궁금한 점은 댓글 환영합니다.